Fuck it, entertainment welcomes you to another review of the main show, Tulsa King. It's Caprice. It's not quite little, it's not quite big, it's just Caprice. If you get one of them, then fair play to you. But let's just discuss the intro to this, because essentially what happens is some guy's house blows up, he lets his dog so some guy on a bike turned up, it's like, okay, what's going on here? Um, and I think the guy on the bike, we're going to get to know him, we're going to get to know him. I think he could be a rival going forward. Uh... But this episode just didn't really do it for me. It was weird. Like, we see the white. He's drinking. There's a white horse. You know, his driver, the main kitty, he wants uh, he wants a promotion. And he's like, it doesn't really work like that in this line of work. You, I, I see you as a driver. He's like, well, how, how do you see me in five years? He's like, uh, I'm not doing this. Hey, kid, you're not a boy scout. You ain't no criminal. You get me? But obviously, he's, he's not really happy with that. Um, we then go to the, the weed business. It feels like a, this 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 TV show feels like a GTA online lobby. It's just completely and utterly ridiculous. It really is. So he goes to this, and it turns out right. Oh, so these people are, you know, inhaling out of balloons and tanks. Well, we're going to do that, and he manages to set up a shipment uh, for like the next festival. I can't remember the, like goo goo boo 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 sub something like that, man. Um, and he, he's looking to make a lot of money on this as Dwight. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully he can make a wee phone call back to uh, New York where we pay call. But top pay call? Phone call. Talking of New York, though, he goes for his wee driving lesson. And as he pulls up at a red light, a car pulls up and starts spraying at me. He manages to tell the uh, instructor to duck and then he chases after. We get a pretty cool uh, scene here. I'm not going to take that away from it. It was quite a good... Um, scene to be honest he chases him but then he ends up losing him and then uh, he tells the instructor to keep quiet he's interrogated by the police but he manages to get free by the woman that he's getting so close to love the ATF agent uh, the guy that attacked him of course is the is the rat from New York he torches a car and leaves but they managed to like find out later that episode uh, this episode sorry that here he must work at a ranch, but of course the white thought initially it was New York, so he gave him a phone call and he's like, "Ah, oh, you you can't you trying to suggest that I can't run my own crew? Absolutely, that's what I'm trying to suggest here. You big fucking fud. All right, but you know what, Dwight McCreary looking quite good here because he's wearing a wee filler jacket and he looked properly properly badass. Uh, the woman also explains to him over dinner about nine eleven had the one edge and she put her par uh, partners and. In, at risk when a plane fl flew quite low over the Hudson River. That's why she's out here in Tulsa. All right, so to speak. That's brilliant. That's a rare laugh, that. Um, he then tells his driver to go get a car for free. Will he be able to get that? I'm not too sure. Um, then she goes and investigates the fire and actually finds a dog. Looks like she's going to look after that. Then we go to the ranch, where we're introduced to Dana Delaney's character. Of course, she was on Mayans. Um, I think she looks quite good for her age, to be honest, but she's not giving much up here. Uh, Dwight, though, he's a smart guy, isn't he? Dwight is damn a smart guy. He pulls up um, at the ranch and follows his main suspect home, and that's pretty much where we end the episode with him, with Dwight on the phone. His new lovely missus. Now, I'll admit, guys, right, I should really write down their names, because... I Apart from the white, I literally know no one's names. But I don't know. I mean, I'll probably finish this show, but it's funny. I love seeing Sylvester Stallone. Do not get me wrong. But at the end of the day, it's like, how much can um, like how much can this guy carry? Like it, it feels like it's almost like a burden. Like how much he focuses on him, and it's it's just not really doing. I don't know the pilot. Hit me with a lot of potential, but now it just seems like a big piss take. Now I admit this this plot line about the 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 rat that's potentially like you know came after myself, so that's a bit intriguing. But I, I don't know, and then like the constant like phone calls back to New York is that is that going to be relevant later in the show? Are we going to see New York make a move, like a legit move? Are we going to see maybe Stallone go back to New York for an episode or two? Even though I can't take away the fact it's called Tulsa King, I, I'm not too sure. But for me, this episode, I'm going to give it a five. I wouldn't be surprised if this show gets cancelled. I just don't... It's funny, but you need more than funny.